Why does early literacy matter? Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Early literacy is the most important building block in a child's educational future. Good job. You know, we always heard growing up that reading is fundamental. Well, it is. Beginning to read books with children from birth at a very young age um, not only builds their vocabulary, but builds a love for reading. And it's not just reading, like because who you're not just reading to, to kids, but it's in, interacting with them in the process. So when reading, you get them to point to things, you pay attention to how they're responding, and you make it really exciting. During those first few years of life, there are connections that are forming in their brains. We call those connections synapses, and those are like bridges between brain cells. And very early on in the first few years, 700 to 1,000 of those connections every second are forming. That's a massive number. It's faster than any other point in that child's life or adult life for that matter. And so that's a time when those connections are forming very rapidly and those lay the foundation for later literacy skills. So being able to understand words, being able to use words in an appropriate context, those will come later, but those early connections make that possible. So it's really important that those are formed during the first few years. I, I. The Urban Child Institute says touch, talk, read, and play with your children. Those are the things you can do to build those synapses in their brain and to build a sturdy brain to go into kindergarten. Early literacy is important because it gives kids a solid foundation at the very beginning and it's, it's a game changer for kids and adults. On occasion, Otis even got to join the farmer in the big yellow tractor out in the fields. They say children need to hear and know, comprehend, not be able to give a de definition of, but understand 10,000 words by the time they get to kindergarten. And so they need to hear books read to them, age-appropriate books, uh, from birth. Every place, are you sure you've looked every place? That's one of the reasons why I love the Imagination Library, because it sends those books to parents. My name is Judy Davis, and I'm the McMinn County coordinator for the Imagination Library. It's simple, you just sign the children up, enroll them in the program, and from then on out, for five years, they get free books, one a month. I mean, it's just a no-brainer. It teaches them how how to love a book. Reading is foundational to everything else you want to do in education, but really to life. I mean, if you're going to learn, it's going to mean uh, you're going to be a reader. And that's true, not just in your young years, but as you grow older too. So having Tennesseans who not only learn to read, but learn to love to read, is one of the most important things that we can do. Chapter three, second line, acquainted. 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 It really relates to almost everything we do throughout the course of the day. And there's very solid science to back up that if you're not reading at grade level, very early on, then your odds of later success are diminished, including your odds of, of dropping out from high school are increased. So really important to make sure that kids can read very early. If kids are successful, Tennessee will be successful. This is something that's very important that we must do in order to have more of our students prepared to go on to be strong middle school students, to be strong high school students, to go on to higher education, and to ultimately get jobs that are satisfying and that build their own lives as well as our communities.